Hey guys, what's going on? Vega here from Serpent X Special Forces, and in this video, I want to talk more about the Navi or modding your RX 5000 series GPU, specifically the 5700 and 5700 XT. Many of you are hitting us up in the comments or in the messages, DMs, Twitter, Discord, what have you, because you're having issues. Now, I want to share something with you because I just got some knowledge dropped on me by none other than Carter from Bits Be Trippin'. I've done many videos on this, like one was how to force flash your video card, and this also applies for like the RX 580, uh, the 590, so on and so forth, how to force flash your, uh, your video card in general. But be careful, you always want to back up your original BIOS, and uh, maybe not so much for the RX uh, 5, uh, 580s and stuff like that, those series, but the 5000 series. Some people are having issues trying to back up their BIOS or it doesn't back up everything. What I mean by that is, say for example, uh, AMD Flash Tool will back up the full BIOS, but GPU-Z won't. Make sure you have everything updated. Not only AMD Flash or ATI Flash, whatever you want to call it, but also GPU-Z. Because when you go to back up your BIOS, if it doesn't grab all that information from the GPU, that could present a problem. So always back up your original BIOS, whether it's a dual BIOS card or not. Back up both sides on the dual BIOS card. Back up your main one if you only have one BIOS on that GPU. But this video, which is going to be linked in the description, shows you how to force flash the GPU. And this video, I mentioned what the best drivers were that I've experienced. Other people may have different experience, but when we, I would update to a latest driver, say for example, the latest one is like 20.8.2 from AMD, it would take away my mod. Like it would, the timings and everything, I don't know why, even though it's in, built into the ROM, it, it would still just run at stock uh, mega hash. So 54, 55 mega hash, it was stock, going back to stock. So I always kept jumping back to 20.4.2, but unfortunately AMD took it down. I do have, and I will put a link in the description, to a mega folder where I have the best driver that I feel uh, that you should use if you're running a modded RX 5700 non-XT or XT. It's um, just the 20.4.2 release from April 2020, but that has been taken down from the site. The knowledge that was dropped on me from Carter on Bits Be Trippin', it was really good stream. I, I mean him been communicating offline and we were getting an error or some people were getting an error flashing their GPUs. Now I haven't personally uh, experienced this, but I had a number of people reach out to me and Carter shows it right here where he starts to get an error, uh, which I believe is 0FL01. And basically what it turns out to be um, is that it can't read the BIOS or it can't uh, flash the BIOS, something to do with, uh, it's just like the subsystem ID mismatch, similar to that, it just can't read it. However, if you notice, he was using PowerShell. I don't think that plays into it, is the actual flash tool itself. And what I mean by that is, a lot of people that are looking for AMD flash tool will go to a known provider, like Guru3D, right? It's trusted, it's got a SSL security certificate. You know, we get our, our software from here because we trust them. However, looking at the file size, Carter noticed that there is a difference. Igor from Igor's lab and team that provided us the red BIOS editor, which is what we use to modify timings, save the ROM, and then upload to that GPU, also has the flash tool 3.0.4 plus. If you notice, Guru 3D is just 3.04. The plus, just like the 2.93, right? So AMD VB Flash ha just has 2.9.3, no plus. But Igor's lab has a plus. What's happening is, is they these guys have been around in the AMD space for a while, always helping us out, allowing us to add uh, soft power play tables and modify our GPUs. So these guys know what they're doing and I trust them, but they are actually adding additional code, files, installers into the program itself. The problem is, is a lot of people that go to download it may be like, uh, what is this sketch site? 
Uh, I've never seen it before. I'm not going to trust it. Now, you don't see a security warning on my computer because I already went to it, but you may see a security warning on your browser. That's just your browser being protective and wanting to make sure you're okay and, and keep you safe, and that's understandable. However, if you get one, that's a, you're going to click at the bottom, there's advance, and then proceed to site. So look in the lower left-hand corner of your screen, advance, and then proceed to site, and just download the version uh, that you, and you're going to see in there that it's actually bigger than what uh, Guru 3D has, or just, there's, maybe not be bigger, but there's a difference between the stock 3.04 and the 2.93 and then what Eagle or offers with the 2.93 plus and then 3.04 plus and using that and command prompt itself is what at the end of the, the stream Bitspit Trippin was able to actually flash the GPU now uh, Crypto Pete did provide a BIOS for the Red Devil that uh, Bitspit Trippin was using but I don't think it was the BIOS specifically that resolved the issue it was the flash tool itself so make sure you're using the right tools. I would recommend getting it from Igor's lab. I know there's a security warning on it. I trust them, but obviously everybody's entitled to their own opinion. I trust these guys. They've been in the space for a long time. I have no problem downloading stuff from them. I got the RBE tool, the Red BIOS Editor tool. I got both Flash tools, and I even got the More Power Play, um, excuse me, More Power tool from them as well. And that allows me to set a custom profile for my RX 5700 that is now a 5700 XT for gaming, but also gets the 58 to 60 mega hash depending on my clocks. Another tip that I want to leave for you is running Hive OS. Hive OS is a Linux based system and it's great. You get to control your rigs, manage it remotely, all that good stuff. But a lot of people are having trouble getting their 5700 to work in there. I'm not sure. I can't speak to the flashing of the 5700 within Hive OS. But if anything, if you're having issues, maybe try flashing, moving the card to a window system, flash the BIOS and everything there, and then put it back into the Hive OS uh, rig and go from there. But more importantly is the clocks. And what I mean by that is... In Hive OS, you may see the memory clock show anywhere from 875 to 930. But in Windows, you're seeing us show you 1750 to like 1850 or something like that. It's doubled. So whatever the number is that you're seeing in Hive, if you times that by 2, that is what you're seeing in Windows. So you really should stay between 875 and 930. Because it's almost like we're going back to the original drivers when Navi first came out. Uh, it, that's, the, that's the memory clocks we saw. We saw 875, 900, 930. 930 was about the max for me. Now, Red Panda Mining also did a good recap. But more importantly, Bisby Trippin and the rest of the community found something out really cool. And that's to make sure you're, you're getting the BIOS editor, the AMD, AMD VB Flash tool from Igor's lab because there is a difference between that and the official AMD VB flash tool and that difference is what's going to allow you to force flash or uh, bypass any type of lock because some of these manufacturers you got to think about it uh, we're unlocking the performance of these cards and getting uh, free performance out of it uh, whether it's for mining or gaming and they probably want to lock that down. That's why AMD, you probably don't want to update to the latest drivers if you have a modded card because they're going to lock that performance down. They don't want you to, to, to get that extra, you know, four to six mega hash depending on how good your card is. Um, also, whether it's the manufacturer, whether it's AMD, whether it's the AMD drivers, just be careful. Always back up your BIOS. If something goes wrong, you can restore to the stock BIOS. But um, there's a couple of tr tips and tricks on how to do that. If you have external GPU, uh, you can load onto that, uh, load it to the operating system using that GPU, and then in AMD VB Flash, you can just switch. Um, if you have to use the command prompt, just make sure you list your GPUs. There are commands to show you which GPU, and make sure you're flashing the right one. That's most important. A lot of people just follow the commands that I put in my video, 
and realistically you're flashing the wrong GPU if you have a multiple uh, mo multiple cards in that system. So I hope this information was very helpful to you. Bitsby Tripping will be releasing a recap video on what we learned last night and I, I hope for those that have been battling this issue with being un unable to flash their 5700 this helped you out in some form or fashion. If this video did help you out, please leave the like button. Help support the community. Subscribe to this channel for more, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Take care.